Hi, I'm Krista Simmons, and I'm here at the Eagle Rock Brewery, owned by the father and son team, Stephen and Jeremy Robb. They are the first craft brewery set up for distribution in the city of Los Angeles. Stephen and Jeremy had been brewing out of their garage together for seven years, winning plenty of local home brewing competitions along the way. Their passion turned into profession when they moved into the brew house off San Fernando Road in 2008. They hope to inspire Angelinos to dig themselves out of the domestic beer rut and dive into the wide world of craft brewing. They're bringing us beer for the people, by the people. Well, we're starting a beer revolution. So you guys documented the whole process of starting up the brewery on your blog. Can you tell us a little bit about the motivation behind that? In having the goal to make LA a better beer town, uh, we wanted to share the knowledge uh, and the mistakes we made, just all of the pitfalls we fell into on the road to, to getting this brewery started. So we wanted to share that knowledge with other people that might potentially want to start a brewery in Los Angeles as well and uh, you know, help make LA a better beer town. You know guys, I've got to tell you, you've got it made. Every time my dad and I get together, it usually results in me scrubbing the bottom of his pool or uploading his Facebook photos for him. Is it ever difficult working together? Well, I end up scrubbing his mash tun out, so it's <laughs> kind of the same, and fixing his email, so yeah, kind of, but... <laughs> the Eagle Rock Brewery has been under some blogger scrutiny because they are actually located in Glassell Park. The tap room is right where the two freeway and I-5 intersect but they say there's a method behind choosing Eagle Rock as their moniker. We, we chose that as sort of a, a landmark and a symbol of strength and a symbol of Northeast Los Angeles because it's the last landmark that you pass as you're leaving Los Angeles and, and heading into Pasadena and kind of leaving the LA basin. In this tank right now is our Revolution XPA. It's finished, it's ready to be kegged. The temperature of this right now is about 38 degrees. We want it really as cold as possible while, while it's carbonating because it's going to absorb the CO2 much more readily when it's cold. So there you see that's the XPA ready, <laughs> ready to keg, ready to drink basically. So cheers. <laughs> yeah, nice and bright. All this talk of beer making you thirsty? You can explore the story behind the suds at the brewery's tap room. The idea behind it all is to make beer enjoyable, drinkable, and accessible. Rather than overwhelm people with information about beer styles, um, we're presenting it to people as a malt-accented beer, a hop-accented beer, and a yeast-accented beer, so that it's something that people can understand pretty readily and start attaching those terms rather than a whole complicated list of beer styles that might scare somebody away. But that doesn't mean the flavors are lackluster. Jeremy and Steve are all about innovating and experimenting with new ingredients. In previous brews, they've used kefir lime, lemongrass, and even rose petals from Jeremy's mother's garden. They're currently working on a collaboration with Intelligentsia to do a lighter beer made with some of their unique varietals. So we'd love to use some really interesting coffees and, and create a beer that's different than a typical coffee beer. Um, so yeah, that's something we're looking forward to, to doing in the future. So if you're all hopped up and ready to start brewing yourself, take some advice from a pro. A lot of professional brewers started as home brewers. Well, cheers.